Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. And hello again, viewers. Welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, where we're still here on Bogano trying to get the rest of the secrets. So, we do have, if you look in the top left there, we have all the secrets, but there's still two treasure chests left to get. And... One of them is here in the abandoned workshop. It says that down at the bottom left. I fully explored the place, but there's still one chest left to get. And I'm pretty sure I know which one that is. It's the one up ahead in this area with all the fans. And I'm still not quite sure what to do about that one. You know, unless there's one over here somewhere, but yeah, you know, I'm pretty sure it's the one up here in the in the fans. Or am I wrong? Actually, I might be wrong about that because when I I just noticed when I put the when I move the uh, pointer over here, it changes from abandoned workshop to Bogdo sinkholes. And says there's one of two chests found over here. So, okay, yeah, it looks like somewhere in this general region, there's another treasure chest that I haven't found yet. Oh, wait a second. I haven't, there's an area down here I haven't explored yet. Okay, well, that'll be later for now. I want to find the missing item here in the abandoned workshop. But also over here in the Bogdo sinkholes. And yeah, the one in the sinkholes, I'm pretty sure it's the one here in this area that I can't get to yet because it's on that upper ledge. Well, now I should rephrase that. I can get to it, I just haven't figured out how. Oh, wrong one. Come on, Cal. There we go. It's got to be that one over there. And might be that I have to stay up on the pipe above me and double jump over. Anyway. So yes, I am pretty sure that that is the missing chest here in this region, in the Bogdo sinkholes. Let's see, I wonder if I go over like this, nope, that didn't work, oh right, let's try it from the top of the pipe. Anywhere else that I can, like, catch hold of? Come on! Oh, come on, Cal! You were right there! Couldn't have grabbed hold of the, uh, side? Come on, get it! Cal, you disappoint me. That, that looks like something I ought to be able to grab onto and s sort of pull myself over. Can I do anything with that? Is there anything else I can grab hold of? Anything at all?
This will just turn the fans on the floor again, won't it? Yeah. So that doesn't help at all. Hmm. That just that metal stuff there looks like something I ought to be able to grab hold of. And I don't see anything that let that would let me wall run. The walls aren't grooved enough for that. Yeah, and there's that vine or rope or whatever it is immediately outside that fan there that looks like it ought to be able to let me swing through the fan. But it didn't get me... Uh, it, it arced me up too high, so I ended up landing on the roof. Hmm. Yeah, this is annoying. It feels like I ought to be able to jump there from the pipe. It looks like I got the distance, but for some reason Cal didn't grab hold of the ledge. This is annoying. This really is. Oh, wrong button. Okay, let's try to get back up on the ceiling again and see if I missed something up there. Okay. And the bugs and whatnot have respawned, have they? Well, of course they have. Okay, come on. I see you right there in the grass. That was a nice bit of ragdoll physics there, bouncing on the ground like that. Are those rocks glowing blue? Can I do something to them with the force? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Just kind of reflecting the light of the sky, I guess. Yeah, it really looks like this rope or vine or whatever ought to be able to get me down into the window underneath. Like if I swung from the other side and then hit the fan blade with slow and then released the wire, released the rope a bit early, I might just slide right through. Go, Cal. Thank you. All right, now then, let's see. Yeah, I'm still a bit high. And I don't see it starting to glow blue like it would if I could hit it with the force. another window on this side somewhere. Where was that? Was 
it over here? Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, I don't see a way in down there either. Well, if I was down on that ledge, could I wall run? It doesn't look like it. That isn't really colored or shaped like a wall I can run on. Okay, I can affect it with the force from here. That doesn't really do me any good, though. Oh, now that's interesting. I can do that. Maybe I can just sort of drop in from above... Ha ha ha! What's BD beeping about? What's this? My friend, I've unearthed a curious artifact. Oh yeah? Ancient sphere. Oh, I found... Discovery number one. My friend, I've unearthed a curious artifact. An ancient sphere capable of storing and conducting massive amounts of energy. Whatever civilization crafted this must be the same that created the seemingly impenetrable structure nearby. I believe studying this sphere may yield the information I need to discover who they were and why they built such a landmark. Hmm. Well, it certainly proved useful to the quest, but in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't seem like a very impressive achievement. You'd think a very advanced civilization would be able to create a smaller power source that would be easier to, you know, carry around. But, eh, whatever. Alright, so I have all of Archive 1 now. That's helpful. So I have one and two. Still need three. Two more scans for this one. I'll wager those two scans are actually on Dathomir. Got all of four, got all of five, got all of six, and one more for seven. Something tells me I'll get that one after I've gotten the astrium and opened the vault. You know, I'm probably wrong, again, because I was thinking earlier that I would get the one I just found at the very end, that it would be the last one I found sort of as a nod to irony or something, you know, but that turns out not to be the case. Okay, then. And what pointless cosmetic item is in here. Want to check it out? Oh, you found something. New Mantis paint job. Republic. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Although, putting on Republic colors in the time of the Empire, realistically speaking, not the smartest move. This is what it looked like originally. Gold Squadron, this is what I have right now. Greasy Money, Mercenary, Republic, Perihelion. Hmm. I think I'll go with mercenary. <clears throat> and 
Oops, darn it. <laughs> I wanted to check out these again. Yeah, still not a fan of the darker colors. Now nah, I'll stick with Bestine. And now that I look at it, the Pathfinder one matches the poncho he's wearing, so... Oh, wow. <laughs> I just got an achievement. But it flashed by too quickly. I didn't see what it was. Oh, wait, I know. It was... Yeah, it was the achievement you get for choosing something new on all of the customization options. That must be what it is. Now that I've customized his outfit along with his poncho and BD1 skin and the Mantis' skin, I get the achievement. Okay. Well, finally got this thing. Let's get out of here. Now then. There is what was it called? The abandoned lab. Abandoned workshop. So there's another treasure chest somewhere in the abandoned workshop. Also, an unexplored area down in the Great Divide. Okay, so where could it be? Hmm. All right, well, let's go down, see if I can locate it. Or actually, now that I think about it, let's get a higher view. There's a treasure chest right up there that I already found. Could there be another one over there, perhaps? Eh, I looked around up there pretty thoroughly. I'm, yeah, I'm thinking it's probably down. Fourth thing here that I've found. A bunch of Zepho stuff here. A couple scans. Customized lightsaber. Maybe later. Uh, is there anything back there, perhaps? I can't see anything. Not in here, then. I'm actually thinking maybe all the way down in the water. Maybe I didn't explore the water thoroughly enough. Does this still count as the abandoned workshop? It looks like it does. I 
did already find a few treasure chests down here. At least two treasure chests. Is that one already open? I can't... Yeah, that one's already open, so I found that one. It's odd that it's kind of clipping into the rock there, so I can't really tell if it's open. And now that one's clearly open, so... No worries on that one. Hmm. Appears maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree. It's definitely open. Yeah, I was thinking maybe there was an area in here, down here, that I hadn't explored, that I missed. Maybe an underwater tunnel or something. Looks like no. All right, well. I'm right near the unexplored spot. Uh, I should head on out there and explore it. That looks like a slide. Well, sure enough. Incredibly old. Can't tell much from them. Hmm. I was about to give Cal a bit of snark. Yeah, we can see their bones, Cal. <laughs> Ancient remains of a sentient species too faint to gather any other information. Huh. Been there so long, I guess. All right. Almost done with this part also. Oh, there's only one thing left in all of the Bogano data bank. One more thing about remnants of a lost civilization. Whoa.
else. An ancient burial site. And there we go. The last one for that. An ancient burial site hastily fashioned for an unknown race, not human. No, we do know at this point. Very clearly Zepho. I mean, it even has the same shape and everything. If I slide all the way over there, there's a uh, a uh, set of vines I can jump over to and presumably climb up. exactly where I am. Okay. of trouble parrying that stupid thing. Okay, well, unfortunately, this doesn't really get me what I need. There is one last treasure chest. And it's somewhere in the um, abandoned workshop, which is where again? Over here. Okay, and I can get there pretty quickly, in fact, by going over here. Oh, man. Boy, that was clumsy. I was trying to jump up there, and I didn't have the distance. Alright, so anyway, if I go across this bridge here, I'm right back where I need to be. This still qualifies as the Great Divide. And I'm back here now. Alright, so now I'm once again in the abandoned workshop. And it seems that I've explored fairly thoroughly under the water there. So... It would appear there's nothing left for me to find there. I guess I just have to go back up.
Hmm. I just had a thought, actually. Back in the uh, in his bedroom, the thing on the floor looked kind of like this, and I was able to open it and find a treasure chest in there. Uh, I don't see anything that looks like a switch. can do there. Hmm. If I start cutting down the pillars, what will that do? That did absolutely nothing. Hmm. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be in here. Odd, really. I haven't even seen another treasure chest. Well, I have some thoughts. Right, I'm going back up to the roof of that room with all the fans again, and taking another look around. a treasure chest right there? One that I haven't opened even. I wonder if those three giant predators are going to be back. Oh my goodness. It was right there the whole time. Oh, blast it. Come on, dude. Let's get this over with. I was trying to cut its tongue off. There is an achievement for that as well. Okay, so it was far enough away from those two that they didn't aggress. I can live with that. steel. Well, that's something worth looking at. Uh, do I want to fight those two? Not really. Alright. Yes, I've got everything. Top left. 
Everything explored. 16 of 16 chests, 6 of 6 secrets. All right, then. Is there a place where I could fight just one of those things to try to cut its tongue off? Yes, actually, there is. Unless it's not there anymore, there should be one right up here. Help me. And this is a much wider open area, with only one of them, I hope. that. Ah, missed it. Come on, stick your tongue out at me again. Ah, darn it. Ah, man, I keep dodging and that makes it so I can't react fast enough with the slow power. Not the attack I was hoping for. Neither was that. And now I've run out of force power. Okay, this isn't happening. <sighs> well, darn. Okay. Let's see if I can try... Wait, examine? Examine what? Hey, Seer. Ever seen something like this vault before? It's not unlike some ancient Jedi temples I've seen. It's weird how two civilizations with no contact created similar monuments to the Force. Weird? Maybe. But it reminds me we're all connected through the Force. You know, those conversations are kind of unusual under the circumstances. You know, this one and the last one about hollow chests with Eno Cordova. I'll wager if I had come here sooner, back when Siri first suggested it, those conversations would have played out and they would have made a lot more sense. Because it was before Cal got kind of pissy and angry over learning about Trilla. Now, let's see if I can do a better job with cutting off its tongue this time.
bog. Ow! Well, that didn't work. Uh, that didn't work either. Not fast enough. Got some force back from that. Okay. Huh. I know that there is an achievement for cutting off the thing's tongue. But I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> oh well. I can work it out later. I think it's time to move on. Back to the Zepho homeworld, I think. Because there's still a bunch of exploration I need to do there. Problem is, how do I get back? I've forgotten. I guess I just go down here. What the? What kind of jump was that? Yeah, I don't think I want to go down there. I think I want to go up here. I need to get over there, ultimately. Okay, so if I get up there, go across there, go over there, that should get me more or less where I need to be. And there's the big, uh... Reptilian kitty rolling around in the sun, enjoying a good nap. here a few minutes ago. Should have gone up here. Right. And 
then once I get back up here for the millionth time, I should have a more or less straight shot back to the Mantis. Wall run here. And there we go. Everything all right? Cal, do you have a second? When we first brought you here, when you proved yourself to be the one we were looking for, that's when I should have told you everything. You made your choice. I get it. Doesn't change what we have to do. Maybe not what we have to do, but how we go about it. I made the wrong choice, and I put you in danger. That's no way to guide you. Never asked you to guide me. Before you, this quest was all on my shoulders. Sure, I had Grease, but he didn't really know the importance of what we're trying to do. I can't expect you to do it all yourself. You've told me everything I need to know. Right now, the only thing I can do is finish what we started. I understand. I'm here to support you if you need me. Thanks. I'll be fine. Yeah. I still think you owe her an apology, Cal. You're being kind of petty. I mean, fair enough she should have told you, but it doesn't really change anything. Not really. Quiet. Too quiet. Uh, not a fan of nature, Grease? Not only behind glass. Otherwise, nature's not a fan of me. I mean, I may have four arms, but if you haven't noticed, I'm basically bite-sized for most deadly creatures. Fair point. We do have a few new terrarium seeds for you, though. You can continue to enjoy nature on your own terms. I think we have at least one. Yep. The feather fern. Okay, so we have eight items planted now. So we got a new, what was it, a sleeve? Or was it a material? I think it was a material. This one? I just can't remember. <laughs> yeah. That's not too bad looking. I've had this one for a long time, the jar jar to Paul's emitter. I just don't really like any of the other ones I found. The neat thing about Jaro Tapal's is that it looks a lot like the various Zepho artifacts we've been seeing, which thematically makes sense for the game, I suppose. like Eno Cordova's. These two, on the other hand, are kind of 
Well, they have a good look what with their simplicity. Not a fan of valor and wisdom, or the two premium ones. Duty and resolve, why not? Oh, and I also have the duty and resolve switch. Well, let's have a bit more variety then. Instead of duty and resolve, passion and strength. Okay. Whoa, I just got another achievement. Sabersmith, fully customize your lightsaber. Huh. I guess getting rid of the old default emitter was enough to fully customize the lightsaber. Who knew? Since I'd customized everything else. And I'm getting so close to saber mastery. I still only have the two skill points. But I'm like two-thirds of the way to the next one. Oh, I want that. I really want that. Okay. I think it's time to do something that realistically is kind of stupid and go back to the Zepho homeworld. How long until it sprouts? Oh, and we have a boggling on board somewhere, don't we? Where is the little guy? Hiding in the back, perhaps? Or one of these rooms that I can't go in? Maybe down there somewhere. All right, well, let's stop fooling around with this and head on to Zepho. Okay, so next. Seventy five percent explored. Twenty two treasure chests left to find, seven secrets. Kashi, far more explored. Four chests left, one secret. Dathomir, haven't even been there yet. Not going there quite yet either. Not bad back there. We've had some close calls. Hey, remember Tadola? Oh, yeah. Well, we got word there was a Jedi in hiding. We had to follow up. Well, yeah, we followed up all right. Right into an Imperial occupied system. At least at that time, they hadn't flagged us yet. We thought it would be easy. Yeah, except it was crawling with Imperials and heavy artillery, walkers everywhere. We didn't know it was a Walker production outpost going in. Off record, secret site. So there I am, 50 meters over this thing. They're on the comm yelling, about to open fire. And you get on and just start apologizing. Sorry, we didn't know. Sensors down. My co-pilot's sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're here. Get in your chair. Yeah, 
yeah, realistically, not the smartest place to go. Considering how much trouble we've had here already. But, hey, since Winter Video Game's big on realism. Let's see here. Looks so good, but uh, I can't eat. We know the Empire is here. Whatever information you intercept is not going to change our mission. That doesn't mean we can't be prepared, Cal. I know what's out there. I faced them. I can do this. I'll find the Holocron. Trilla will be watching. We'll just have to get to it first. I thought Grease jeopardized this mission with his reckless gambling. But here, I've made the same mistakes. Uh, yeah, still not entirely pleased with Cal's take on all this. Oh, another one of those droid bounty hunter guys. Okay. Start shooting, guys. Okay, that was weird. Somehow... I got her outside of her usual... battle spot, and she stopped reacting properly. Alright, it! Alright then. Yeah, that was kind of weird. Ah, uh, ha 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 ha. Can I get a stim PD1? Nice work. Alright. I want to go this way. And there are those R.O.U.S.'s still fighting over that Stormtrooper's corpse. I think we're doing okay, BD? <laughs> Good. That's the way? All right. <laughs> okay, well, first of all... Okay, if you don't let me get it now, game, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. There we go. Well, according to the counter on my recording software, we've passed the one-hour mark. So, 
It is time to cut the video, I think. Why is the door still open? Ah, who cares. And is there anywhere in particular I can spot offhand that I haven't explored yet? Well, there's something red down there. What's this? The Imperial Dig Site. Oh, that's the way that I went in after my duel with Trilla. Okay. And then BD closed off, closed it off, so that she couldn't get through to me. All right. And yeah, I remember that too. There was some kind of zip line, I think, along with a rope that I could use to swing over to it, I think. Well, that's more or less the direction I'm planning on heading, but in the next episode. I will see you then, viewers. Thanks for watching, and catch you later.